Members of the commission, my name is Mike Summy. I live out in the Irwin community on property all over this county. I've got three points I want to make with you. The first is you say we need protection and that this zoning ordinance is going to provide it. Well, I'm one of the county's largest individual taxpayers. Here's some of your tax receipts. That check on the first one's for $46,000. Now, if these are all tax bills on developed properties, not raw land. And if this was going to provide all this protection, I ought to be one of the biggest supporters out there of it. I don't want your protection. You know, to hold a public hearing down here, to hold a public uh, hearing down here and have all these people come out when you announced in the paper this morning what the vote's going to be, that's an insult to everybody in this room. The second point. Second point. Zoning's like a cancer. You know, it starts out, it's hardly noticeable, but it grows inside you and eventually it just eats you up. Give you an example. The city of Asheville's original zoning ordinance when it passed was 16 pages. The news stories at that time said it was designed for protection and to, and to create orderly growth. Well, today it's expanded into a book that's this thick, just the checklist to get a permit 16 pages. In fact, it's so cumbersome and so onerous to deal with that the man that wrote it quit the city and he's got a nice little job now hiring himself out to help people get through the process. Third point. Third point I want to make. You pass this ordinance, you're going to put the final nail in the coffin of affordable housing in Buncombe County. Now, I served on your city, county, Joint City County uh, Housing Task Force. And I said at that first meeting that the biggest problem One we minute. have with the, with the affordable housing, the UDO adds 20, 30 percent to the cost of housing without adding a single square foot of livable floor space. To make a point, I even tried to get a lot of mine through the process with the help of the staff while I was on the committee and after spending over $4,000 and still having nothing, I finally threw in the towel and quit. Now, Mr. Gant and Mr. Young, or maybe I ought to call you Mr. Flip Flop. Uh, I've known both of you guys Mike, a long time. Mike. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no name. All right, I, sorry about that. I couldn't resist that though, Nathan. Sorry. No, well, uh, no name, Colin. But I've known both of you gentlemen a long time, and I'm just curious as to how much property you've got that'll be affected by this out there. You know, I've got a lot, Mr. Peterson. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten to know you, but I got a question for the three of you. What makes you think that time, you know more time, about time, what time. I need for my property Mike, than I do? Mike, sit down. Thank you. Um, we would like again, please, uh, you can raise your hand, that has the same effect.